All right, so I get asked for my settings and vigor occasionally. Usually, I just send them in DMs to whoever asked, not really worrying about making a video on it. But this person offered clout, so fuck that, it's video time. Yeah, I'll body bump. Without any further delay, let's start going through my settings. First up, we have audio and video. Audio is really up to personal preference, with the only notable change that I made being that I have my music and encounters off, but here they are. Both brightness and contrast are, are at 45. I've found that this offers good vision in both foggy and clear weather without having to change them every match. I also have the red-green colorblind filter on Xbox provides on to make the colors pop more. I'm not colorblind, but you know, I just like it. Next is controls. I have vibration off simply because I don't like the way it jolts every time I shoot. Aim invert is also off in every game I play unless said game has some form of flight, you know, planes, helicopters, whatever in which case I do turn it on. My aim button is on hold, my sprint button is on toggle. Now for sensitivity, my look Y sensitivity is at 70, my look X sensitivity is at 60, both third person aim Y and X are at 65, first person aim Y is at 45, and first person aim X is at 25. I haven't really messed with the advanced controls much, but uh, here's what I did. I turned aim assist off. This move was made just by personal preference. I just didn't like the slowdown effect that aim assist has in this game, and I felt it made moving targets harder to track, though I did play with it on for a while, only turning it off at around season 4 or 5. I turned the movement inner dead zone down as low as possible and the outer dead zone as high as possible for tight turns and other fine movement. I turned both the aim inner and outer dead zones down as low as possible, the inner being extremely important for fine adjustments to one's aim. Lastly, we have game settings. I turned on the network stats for bug reporting purposes, they have little to no impact on gameplay. I also changed my crosshair color to aqua because it's visible in most gameplay scenarios, except maybe looking into water. Everything else is default. Alright, so those are all my settings. And you may now be wondering, why should I use this trash can settings over someone like Freakia's? Well, I tuned my settings to be a sort of jack-of-all-trades, meaning they do well in almost every situation but don't excel at any in particular. They are also easy to learn and adapt well to most playstyles, whereas other content creators' settings are conformed to hunting other players I've seen. In short, I think you'll find these settings very comfortable and easy to use, and I hope they help you. And I'm sorry for the terrible upload schedule lately, I have some real videos planned soon, so, sorry. But, that's it from me. See you around.